What's up, YouTube? Dave from Atomic Speed, back again. Uh, today I just kind of wanted to go over um, more with the Cutlass, my current project that is going to leave the garage the soonest. Um, I picked this car up two years ago. It's taken me two years to get it to this point, which a lot of you guys will probably say, well, you can't, you know, that takes too long. You can't make any money doing that. But I really didn't do it to try to make a profit on the car. I enjoy building these cars. And I really started my business around that. The fact that I enjoy working on these cars so much. And really I did it to build up the revenue. So originally I purchased this car for, you know, right around $3,000. It needed a complete restoration. And when I say that, I mean every, <laughs> everything on it was tired. Um, so I'm just going to go over, you know, some of the work I did to the car. And, you know, give you a wrap-up about it. So um, the car was a very, well, let's start with what it is. It's a 1969 Cutlass. It was a Cutlass S model. As you can see, I got some of that left. Some of the badging from the original Cutlass. Um, but I did do a 442 clone theme on the car. Um, I mean, I didn't go too far with that, uh, other than like getting rid of the old Cutlass emblems and adding the 442 emblems. So it's definitely not going to be a spawn on clone restoration, but it'll still have the smooth, clean appearance of the 442. Um, I kind of added to that, and the only custom body modifications I made to the car, and if you know Cutlasses, I got rid of the polished stainless trim that runs all the way down the top of the fenders here. It goes all the way down here. Eliminated it. I think the cars just look cleaner like without it. And it's just, I don't know, it's just my, I guess, one, that one little touch I did to the car to help it clean up and make it just look a little bit smoother. But, um, yep, it was a, it's a, so it's a 69 Cutlass. It's got the, it's got 68,000 original miles on the car. Uh, it's got all the original numbers matching drivetrain, uh, which would be a 350 old turbo 350 trans and a 12 bolt open rear end from the factory. But I did convert that over to a positive traction with uh, 342 gears. So that kind of covers the drive line. It was in really good shape when I got it. The car ran really, really well. Um, it used to have a factory two barrel intake and two barrel quadra jet. Uh, as you can see, I converted that over to the Edelbrock RPM manifold with a Holley 750 double pumper on there. And as you can see, the, that carb has no electric choke. It is a race carb, so that should wake up that 350 olds just a little bit <laughs> um, yeah so still got quite a bit of uh, little stuff to hang on the car still as you can see the engine's not completely plumbed uh, I gotta do electrical under the hood here I've got to do the fuel system on the car and I'm gonna convert it over to electronic ignition and I'll be doing that through uh, Pertronics kit inside the distributor so uh, hopefully you guys will follow me along as I wrap this restoration up. I'll be hanging a lot of the cool parts now. I already did a lot of the hard works over with. So it should be a fun rest of the build for you guys to watch. So um, let's see. So I, I did do the body work on this car. Um, I hung two new rear quarter panels on the car. But that is all this car needed. It didn't need any other sheet metal on it. It was a super solid car to start with. It's just that around the wheel wells here and right behind the uh, quarters, they were, you know, there was rust holes there because they were the original quarters for the car. But that is all this car needed was the quarter panels repaired. The floor, factory floorboards, uh, trunk pan, rockers, 
front fenders, everything was super solid on the car when I got it. So um, the doors opened really well, no sagging. So that's a few of the things why I purchased the car to begin with is because it had so much potential. Uh, I'll give you a little shot of the interior. It definitely wasn't this clean when I got it. The car came with a bench seat. I located some of the uh, some buckets. These are out of a 68 GTO. They were original seats that I picked up from a guy locally, which I just could not put the uh, bench seat and column shifter back in the car, having it look like it does. It just wouldn't have, you know, it wouldn't have flowed very well. I mean, nothing against that. I just prefer the buckets and floor shifter look on these cars. Uh, which I did recently just mock up my Hurst Promatic shifter. It's just sitting there, but it gives you guys an idea. It's a lot better looking than the column shift, in my opinion, as is the bucket seats. Uh, mostly this car's interior was uh, relatively saveable. Um, the headliner was in excellent shape. Uh, the back seats. Rear door panels were all saveable. The front door panels I'll be replacing. Uh, as you can see, the bottoms here, the bottom of the passenger side is pretty tore up, beyond repair for me anyways. So I did put some on order, and we won't see those until uh, at least two or three weeks because the guy custom builds them. But I will be doing an install video on that, those as well when I receive them. Um, underneath of the car is super clean. Uh, all the factory undercoat's been stripped. Everything's been restored underneath. New three inch exhaust all the way back from the headers. The car sounds amazing. So it is a very clean car now. Um, I did replace the front and rear bumpers. So those are all new. Uh, trunk pan, like I said, is original to the car. No rot. Very clean. Very solid car. These, this, this is the kind of car you want to start with if you're going to, you know, take on one of these restorations. Because let me tell you, I've been there and replacing <clears throat> all the sheet metal is not fun. It takes a long time and it takes a certain person to be able to pull it off too. So... See how nice these doors shut. Solid. <clears throat> and here is the other bucket seat. And this is what that other one looked like before I restored it and put it in. So I'm getting ready to do this one now. It's the driver's side. So you guys will see a video on that as well. So I just kind of want to go over the current project. 69 Cutlass 442 clone can see the got those emblems hung gives you an idea it's like a nice it's just a nice smooth clean car and that's what I like to build I don't like to build cars that are too clean where you're scared to drive them this is a driver uh, it's not a real 442 so you don't have to be worried about someone smacking into you and killing a super rare car even though these cars are getting rare the two-door hardtops for sure but it is what it is, you know. It's just a cutlass. Shouldn't be afraid to drive these just because of the value of them. You got to really get out and enjoy them. That's what they're about. That's how I feel. So, well, that's going to wrap this video up. If you guys like the channel and the content, give me a thumbs up. And if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel. Thank you. See ya.